Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on this episode, we're going to continue where we left off. Now, I think what we're going to be doing on this episode is finishing up uh, this room over here. I kind of want to finish up at least one of these rooms and mess around with some of the uh, the different you know items that you can put down, like the vases or the vases, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, put down some of those, get some of our comfort rating up. We do. We actually got to a tech tree where we can actually start messing around with some of that. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Uh, we have the potted plants. We have some of this decorative shielding stuff. Uh, this is kind of cool. And then if we pass by that one, if we do enough in that one, uh, we have another one right here. The weaving, the, the wall carpet, these uh, tapestries, and a wardrobe. And if we go past that one, we have yet another one where we can put down tables and things. So if we go through this episode and probably the next one, we're going to be messing around with our house stuff and just uh, creating a more comfortable living condition for our guys because as you do that they heal faster you're able to go off and attack more your guys are happier overall and it's just a better experience so let's see did we ever get any of the wood that we needed i think we did um no we're still a little short on wood well that's not too important let's see we can make some more vases hmm i guess we will i guess we'll do a few more of those what about potted plants so we can do a few potted plants uh, again, buckets are how you pick up water, so remember to keep a couple of them. You don't want to get all of them because then you won't have any way to pick up any water. You have to go and make some more buckets, and it's kind of a headache when you want to pick it up. Uh, you don't want to have to remember to go make a bucket, and then you have to wait for it to be made. So, yeah, we're going to have to get some more water here eventually anyway. So let's put that down. We'll put this. Hmm, I guess we'll put it over here for now. And let's check to see if they have all the food that they need. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they don't really need any more. I can put down a few. And they're probably pretty sick and tired of, of this uh, fish stew by now. But they're going to get it for a little bit longer. I'm not really in the mood to give them anything else beyond that. Uh, you know, they, I'd have to go out harvesting it and making it and using the coal and stuff. And it's going to take time for them to do that. Like I said, it's just not one of the things that I'm has a huge priority on my list. Let's go ahead and grab this... Uh, not that they shouldn't have it, but I think as long as we can do it without it, uh, we're probably going to do that. So what are we going to turn this room into? I know this side's going to be factories, and I think it's going to be two floors. I think I'm going to have another floor go about halfway and put another little uh, set of uh, workbenches and stuff over here. So if they need to do any of that, uh, they're right here. And I don't want to make this ladder go down too much further. So I think I'll have it go up. And I think I'm going to connect it up to this area up here because somebody said uh, that would probably be a good idea now that it's uh it's sealed off so like there's no reason to make these guys walk all the way around anymore so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna come over here and we're gonna chop straight down we're gonna grab these right here uh what about the ladder should we i think we're gonna leave the way it looks right there as far as them walking up here and falling down here so if the enemy does get in here the big guys can't make it past this little small area and they usually will fall down into these little crevices and get stuck there while my guys shoot them and stuff so I kind of like that I kind of like having little little pits in there that kind of toss and throw those guys uh, into you know they just don't know what's what's going on because it's so weird that I have it that way so let's put this over here so we can get that down as well now the reason I'm putting down so many seeds is like I said before I go through so much beer it's not even funny once we get to that stage and it would be nice for once not to have to sit there and wait for it you know, usually um, I wait to the last minute, and then when I want my beer, I'm just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting for this stuff to grow, and it just can't grow fast enough, and I use it the moment it's done. So it would be nice to have that that uh, that problem not really uh, creep up all that much anymore. So let's see. We can put these. Uh, let's put one right here. What is there? Oh, it's a trap. So I have to wait until that trap falls down. I wonder if when that trap breaks through this last block, if it will land on the fire pit and be destroyed and then I could pick it up or if it will land on top and just be sitting right there which it could very well be doing uh let's see we need to make a few more ladders because we're gonna need just a bit more to get them up there and that's gonna use a lot of our steel but at this moment uh, I think it's better to have the the ladder so they can get up and down a little bit easier uh, I guess they can't do that can they let's put some scaffolding down and he's probably coming down here to get the last little bit as soon as he breaks through Nah, they're still going to be able to do that. Okay, that's fine. Come on, guys. Put it down. Put it down. Do it. Oh, they still don't want to do it. And I need to put a light in here somewhere. Somewhere along the path, I think I need to 
chop a little block down and put a light in there. Otherwise, those uh, those green things will grow. How did my house get complete? Oh, so it didn't uh, it didn't recognize my house as being complete. Once this little area was chopped down, you can kind of see the line that it goes around. It actually went down right here instead of going all the way across. I wonder why it did that. Let's check it out. Let's see, it's coming across here. Where's it going to go? It goes up. It goes this way. It goes all the way around. Okay. Uh, how far are you going to go down this way? Hopefully you go all the way. Okay, it's still going. That's that's the good sign. I mean, we wanted to go all the way down because we have a lot of good stuff over here. That I think part of it, yeah, it's cutting off right there. So this stuff over here on this end can't be used. And it's funny because one of my nicest beds is sitting right here, and yet they're using the the lesser beds because of that. Hmm. That's that's kind of an issue. We might have to fix that somehow. Okay, so you guys are making my ladder. Let's see, what do we want to do down here? Did any of that stuff finish? We got some of the vases to finish. So let's put one on either side right here, because I don't want to put anything on top of that. Uh, you know, because they have to climb up that somehow. So let's do that right there. And I think we're going to have a wall come down right here and a door right here. So let's leave that uh, space there. And then we will put something, let's say, right here. It could be right in front of the door, I guess. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be too far away. And maybe we can put some couches or something in between and have another floor up here where we put, uh, you know, some other stuff that we have. I kind of want to do nothing but decoration down here. It doesn't really need to be a purposeful uh, space just as long as it, uh, you know, ups the, the comfort rating. Because it does go all the way down here, just not as much as I would like. And we may put another one of these things down eventually as well because they do have the skill to learn that here uh, fairly soon. I don't have enough wood. Okay. Let's see... Yeah, we're just going to have to go get some more wood and water for sure. But yeah, right here we can build our totem. And I think I'm going to make a few of those because I want this whole area surrounded. Now the bigger the area, the bigger you have to protect. So if I go off and put a totem down here, it may go all the way over here. And this area, if it gets broken into or whatever, can cause some issues. Or if they get attacked over here, they will see this is still inside their home. And they still come over here even though I tell them to get back. And yeah, It's a little bit of a headache, but not too big. Let's grab this. We need more seeds, so we'll make some more seeds real quick before we go up and look for some wood. Now, I can make a lot of seeds, but I'm going to save most of them so that I can make beer out of it. I'm only going to use enough that I have to to replenish that. Uh, you got fish out here. I'm not worried about that. Let's go up here and see if we can find some fish. Or not fish, wood. Uh, yeah, here we go. Nice. This is a nice little section. Might have to do several versions uh, or several you know, things of my portals to be able to get all the stuff that I want, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, I should at some point, you know, maybe build me a, a little ledge on my base somewhere where I can put down just trees to grow, and that way I don't always have to use a portal to come up here and get all this stuff. I can just kind of go close to my base. I did that on one of the previous levels where it was snowing, and I put a little ledge up there, and it didn't really work too well because it was snowing, and I put it up too high. But then on the next level, I figured out what the, the range needed to be for it to work. And it was really nice to have wood close to my base that I didn't have to use a portal to get to. And I was using the, the platform to kind of protect my base from the tornado. So it was serving two purposes. It was creating wood, but the wood itself, the trees, were actually holding the blocks in place so that the dirt didn't get you know broken up and swung through the air when the tornado passed by. Uh, so it, it does serve a purpose to have, you know, trees growing near your base other than the convenience of it. But on this one, I kind of like the convenience. Like, I'm going through my power way, way too quickly. And I think it's because of this. Like, this teleporting up here and doing two or three portals every single time I need wood. And you need wood all the time. Uh, really is not very effective. So if you guys have a few minutes, you guys got, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes that you... Or like, okay, what am I going to do now? I would suggest building a platform. And it, it probably won't even take that long. If you take over one of these dwarves and get them to do it, you know, if you if you click on one of them and take them over and then just sit there and put down a whole row, you could probably do that in under five minutes. Like, it really wouldn't take that long. I just haven't done it yet. And I'm kind of kind of frustrated with myself for not doing it because, you know, look how many... We just don't have enough trees. Never have enough trees. And it would be nice to have two layers or maybe even three layers where they can, like, walk upstairs and have trees on every single one of the platforms, uh, a ladder or something like that, and 
and really go to town on just uh, harvesting without having to use a portal. Mage Book teaches you how to turn flies into elephants and other spells. I wish there were other spells. You know, I mean, yeah, you do have other spells that I can use. I can create, you know, uh, guard or not guardians, little minions that will go off and harvest for me. Uh, the resources that have already been knocked onto the ground. I can create uh, portal spells and light spells and compass spells and fireball spells. I have a lot to pick from, but these guys don't. When you turn them into mages, that's what that book is used for. You turn them into a mage, or you raise their skill on that, they don't get better in the sense that they get access to new spells. At least, I've never seen them do it. Uh, they get better in the sense that they hit more often, and they hit for a harder amount of damage. You know, at, at some point, if they wanted to, I'm granted, it's, you know, you're asking for a lot, but at some point, if they wanted to, they could program these guys so that they would get access to new spells at a certain level, and that would really promote you even more than it already does to make sure that they don't die. Like, every time they die, I feel it, you know, significantly because I put points into all their skills, I give them books, uh, you know, I put that time in trying to get them to survive, and then they die, and it, it's really heartbreaking sometimes. It'd be so much more if, like, your warrior died after he'd been maxed out, and he had access to, like, two-handed weapons, and he could, like, dual wield or, you know, like, spin around and hit all the enemies around him. He was doing, like, really talented stuff, and then you get, like, your new guy who's having trouble holding, like, a dagger, and he falls down and rolls on the ground and just kind of spins around in place because he's so new. He has no idea. Like, it, almost to the point of, like, seriously, like, how, how stupid can you be, right? To the point of, like, master swordsman when he's finally maxed out. You know, do that kind of change in the behavior, and I think a lot of people would be really, really happy with that. It would, it would show that the game is more than just, you know pick stuff up and, and move it around it was there's actually strategy involved and the greater the strategy you can use the longer your dwarves will last and so for me I think it would dramatically alter my playstyle because right now you know when I see a dragon I go after him just because it's me you know like I, I, I gotta kill that guy but if I knew that I was gonna risk losing all that hard work uh, just because I went after the dragon I probably would hold off because there is such a huge gain from not just going in there willy-nilly and attacking. So, yeah, and for that that alone, why aren't they coming back? Like, yeah, this guy's still happy. Why aren't they coming back? There's a portal up there. What is wrong with you guys? There's stuff up there for you to chop down? Uh, huh, okay, well, I don't get that. Come on, guys. Attack, maybe? Get that up there? Okay, so that got him up here. Wow, that's so that's a weird bug. I've never seen them just sit there when they have so much to do up here and they're right next to a portal. I guess the only thing I can think of is I had just put a portal down and maybe it messed up their their uh, priority list or something like that. I love these weapons. They fire really slow. They have to reload after every shot, so they don't fire nearly as fast as the archers, but it's just cool. Like I like the look of that. And I would love to see the whole idea of the dwarves uh, with weapons kind of progress because they have in other games like if you play uh, War, World of Warcraft I do believe the the, the, the orcs or the uh, the dwarves have like I don't know I can't even say now I think maybe I'm thinking of another game but one of the games I'm thinking of have dwarves with actual like band bandellers or whatever they have like in the old west where they have those two little things going across their chest with like bullets all in them and everything like that and like little grenades on them and stuff so dwarves in other video games that I've played have had those kind of skills before it kind of fits them uh, pretty well and it uh -huh. really is kind of nice in this one holy crap we just got an enemy out of nowhere where did that guy come from it's a good thing I just put a portal down oh come on oh at least at least we have one guy with semi full health for for the melee. Oh, there we go. We got some rain. Well, we need to go here and grab some of this rain real quick uh, because we need the water. We're pretty low on water, if you guys remember. And I need to make a lot more clay. So at some point, we're going to have to. Uh, we also had a viewer comment who said they liked my pool over here, but they wanted to see it uh, expanded upon. So I might have to do that before I flood the base. I just kind of mess with that and see, uh, you know, how, how big we can make it, how deep we can make it. And then I could even use it to, like, drain into my base. So there's always going to be, like, a dual purpose to that. Come on, guys. I mean, you can, you can pick up the water and then you can, you know, take it back with you. So let's go ahead and... No, we don't want to use... Uh, let's 
Can we not pick this stuff up? No, stop doing that. I guess we're going to attack it. I was just going to pick up the water, but it doesn't seem like it wants to let us. Maybe this will get them out of their funk, though, because they were just kind of sitting there not doing anything. Now, I do have some buckets left over. I know I have buckets. But buckets... I guess they need the buckets to take it back as well, don't they? Where are the buckets? Hold on a second, guys. I know the buckets are in here somewhere. Uh-huh. I am totally missing these things. Where are they? Hmm. Hold on, guys. There they are. Okay, buckets. And I need planks for that. How much wood do we need? We can make a few of those. I don't want to make too many, but I want to get some of my buckets back. And we have a lot of things to put the wood on, so as soon as they're done chopping this stuff down, I think we're going to go get one more section of wood before we go back to building in our base. Come on, guys. Pick up the water. You can do it. Pick it up. Come on. Seriously, guys? Crazy. Oh, my God. You guys are driving me nuts. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll put down a portal. Waste the power. Because you guys obviously are not getting out of there anytime soon. And we'll come up here. And we'll chop down some more trees. I think that's the only way to get these guys out of here for now. And we will come back and get that water at the earliest possible time. Uh, it's just... I don't know. I, maybe it's the, the buckets. Like, and maybe they just don't have enough. And so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and... See, I can't even click on that, can I? Yeah. I can't even click on that water. Because I guess we don't have any buckets. How can we not have any buckets? I only use two. There's zero buckets there. That's what it is. Huh. Okay. Well, I must have re uh, miscalculated that. I thought we still had some buckets left. So that was my fault. I do apologize, guys. Uh, that you sucks. Go. I knew I should have been careful with that. You're over here. I hope these bo these blocks stay there for a while. Because I don't think these guys are going to go down there and create my, my planks anytime soon. Unless I put a portal down there. And I hate to put a portal down there. Uh, you know, for no reason other than to create that stuff. Because power is so hard to come by. And there's just... I need the wood more. I think if I do the wood right now... I can always come back up here and get the water. After I start making stuff and putting it down. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make any more of those uh, stucco blocks. But I can at least put furniture down. I can progress progress our tech bar and do a little bit further in there. And even if you're not big into decorating, progressing that tech bar even in just decoration will allow you to get access to things later on down the road that, you know, you have to do those before you can get to them. So at some point, you might as well stop and enjoy it and build something that looks kind of cool and try something different every level to see, you know, what play style you or what designs you like the most. I know a lot of you guys will actually pick like the same thing and just do it over and over and over again because it works, you know, and that's fine too. But for me, I try to do something a little different. And by the time I get to like the last level, I found something completely different from what I started with. But it's like a merge, you know, variation of like all of it put together for like the final level. And I get like the best of all of those ideas. But I wouldn't have got them if I hadn't, you know, kind of uh, put the, the, the work into it. Can I not? See, he has a bucket right there on the back of his thing. Or is that a backpack? No, that's, those are buckets. He has buckets he hasn't delivered. So as soon as he delivers those, there he goes. Okay, so they, they took the buckets out for some reason. I wonder why. Well, he did pick up the water, and now he's trapped. You gotta be. Ugh, I want to slap you in the face, man. Oh, that's a lot of power to waste for one little dwarf. Ah, man. And they still haven't even come over here and gotten all this water. I'm going to have to put down another portal over here. And that's going to be the end of my portals, pretty much. Uh, come on, guys. You can go back. Go back. You can do it. Go back, go back, go back. Ah, oh, you guys. Go home. Go home. You do something. Go home. I don't care. Just, just go do something and then come back. Because you know you're going to come back to get that water when I walk away. we got 30 seconds left. Let's see if he does it. Okay, so he's taking some back with him. Now go home. Come on. What, what are you waiting for? He's waiting for the timer to run out. So I'm going to click on him and I'm going to wait until the timer is pretty low. Oh, no, he did it. Uh, but is he going to come back? He's going to come back at like two seconds. I just know it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, he did not come back. But I need that water. You guys suck. You suck so bad, guys. Okay, let's come back down here and finish putting these seeds down. And we will go ahead and start making some items. In fact, before we do that, we are going to go ahead and mine this stuff. In fact, I'll put a portal down here just to help it go a little quicker. 
because not only am I going to chop all of this wheat down, but then I have to actually put more seeds down. And like I said, it's not a huge priority right now, but I learned my lesson and the other ones to not make it to the point where it is a huge priority. Do it while you you don't really need it, and then when you really do need it, you have just tons and tons of it to work with, so. Uh, what are you doing out here? I don't need fish right now, dude. I don't need it. And these guys, what, are you walking the slow way? Did they walk all the way around? Like, they walked all the way around, and now this guy's going back home to pick up uh, some seeds. You know, when they do that, it kind of drives me crazy that they don't go back to the warehouse as often or as uh, efficiently as I would prefer them to do that, you know? And eh, this just has to do with programming. Eventually, it's going to get there. The game's still in development, so I try not to give it a hard time because... You know, they're constantly making changes to it. And the changes they've made have been really, really cool. I really liked the uh, the tornado on the last level. And I really like this underground, uh, you know, dungeon-type feel on this level. It's, it's very, very cool. And the fact they're adding new creatures and new uh, feels to the level. They're not just kind of resting on the laurels and just creating, you know, another level out of the same stuff that they had before with maybe a dis different kind of... Uh, a different kind of makeup to start with, but they're actually quite literally forming different levels with completely different feel uh, to them. So it's it's very very cool. I like that uh, quite a bit, and I think a lot of other games could learn or take an example from that because you know some of them call it in. You know some of them once they get to like the third or fourth level, you're pretty much seeing everything they have. The only thing different will be you know occasionally you might get a cool item that you didn't get on the other ones, but nothing huge. Let's see, what are we going to make on this one? Hmm. Actually, let's go into our tech tree. Because I think we're going to make barrels. They use a lot of wood, uh, and they use uh, some iron ore, which I do not have anymore. Oh, dang it. Uh, I guess we'll hold off on barrels. But barrels are used for beer, and I'm, I'm going to need a lot of beer eventually. So interior doors, we can do that at the very least. I will use a few of these interior doors, so this won't be a waste. Let's go ahead and double click on it. That automatically filled up all the wood, so it even filled it up adjacent over here on this side. Let's go ahead and put some nails in there. Uh, let's do let's do three of those doors, because I think I'm going to use at least that much. Go back to the tech tree, and now we have some furniture. Ah, nice. Okay, I want some couches. I want some couches, and I want some tapestries. Uh, do we have what we need? We need some wood. Okay, so we'll drag that down here, double click it. Fabric. How much fabric do I, uh, we might need a little bit more fabric. Needles? How many needles do we have? 109. Oh, we're not going to need any more needles. And planks, I just told them to make some, so thankfully we got that. And this actually does for comfort. It's a simple fabric chair. So let's go ahead and make a few of those. Four seems like a good amount. What about thread? Uh, you need planks for thread really why would you need planks I guess to wrap it around maybe and wool well we got plenty of wool so let's do a few of these that should be more than enough right there we'll make a few more planks just in case there's something to that we need them for something else later on let's see what about wall tapestries okay so we got everything we need for this and wall carpets are pretty cool comfort is five and there's a few different illusions you get out of some of these, like the little pendant and stuff like that. You can click them again, and you can get some different looks out of it. So let's do some leather. We'll do some needles. We don't have very much leather. Uh, okay, I guess that's not going to work. Let's do that again. Yeah, you don't get very much, uh, very much leather on this one for some reason. I'll have to uh, go off and look for it and see if I can get some more of that. Dyes, I think we have a... Uh, we'll probably have to make a few more later on the road, but that should be good. Now let's drag that down here. Hmm. We do have the potted plant, so let's put those down as well. This is going to look pretty cool. What about... Hmm, I'm thinking about with the couches. Let's see, where were the couches? Got four of them being made. Let's drag that down here. I don't really want any more of that fish stew for my guys. I could give it to them, but I don't know. I think they're going to get sick of it pretty soon, and I don't want them to like get to that point if I can help it. Where are we going to put these... I guess we could put it up here, in between. Uh, give them a little bit of a uh, little bit of greenage. Like they feel like they're not just uh, sleeping in like a cave. That they have some some little plants there for them. 
can go ahead and put some of these uh, these vases down. Now, remember, over here, it's not exactly inside of our base yet, but it will be one day, and so I don't mind putting some stuff down there. And we will do the same thing over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we'll do one right there. And then we will move this torch and put down another light right there. And one right over here for now. Now we will eventually remove these torches and put down the better lights, the lights that actually add comfort. And those are amazing because they provide quite a bit of light, but they also provide comfort and they don't take up any more space than the, than the ones that you already had to begin with. Unless you get like the double chandeliers or chandeliers or whatever you call that with the, the candles in them. Um, oh great, lag. There we go. It's gone. I can't wait till my new computer comes in, guys cannot wait it's gonna be freaking awesome I haven't had a new computer and I can't even tell you how long and this one's going to be pretty sweet so hopefully any of those little issues that we've had with games in the past if it has been computer related gonna be gone uh, no game that I'm playing right now is even gonna come close to to uh, you know tapping this machine for like even a percentage so it's gonna be you know pretty awesome and now we get some armor the only downside to this is I have no iron anywhere in my inventory. I've been using all of it for ladders and things of that sort. So we're going to have to go out and harvest some of that. And, you know, that's going to be the only way we can make uh, that new iron armor, which I really, really want to do now that we have access to it. So on the next episode, I think that's what we're going to do because... Uh, I don't know, maybe not, because I have a lot of silver, and we can make some really good stuff in silver if we can get to Master Furnishings, if we can get to Master Construction... So maybe if we come back over here and do advanced stone working, because I think we have a lot of stone. And these two statues right here give you plus five, one into warrior and one into mining. If you have multiples, they don't add, at least from what I've seen. So let's go ahead and make one of those real quick, because we do have the stuff for it. Uh, we don't have a lot of stone, unfortunately. I thought we had a lot more than that. Maybe, maybe we've been using it here and there. So let's see, we can use one of these right there. We'll make one of you that actually uses quite a bit, uh, or we get quite a bit of experience out of that. We can do one of these. Let's go ahead and drag that down. And steel maces, we don't even use those. So it's kind of nice that we had made a few of them. Uh, that's going to be nice to use. Let's go ahead and drag that down here as well. Uh, let's go to the other page. We'll drag that down into where are we going to do it right there where the food is and now we can do some of the wall lamps these wall lamps comfort too they do make better ones than that uh but we're not i think we're going to hold off because this is not going to give us any experience in the the skills that we want to kind of progress through what else can we do here uh, nothing there let's go back in the tech tree what did they want us to do fountains gargoyle statues Hmm, the fountain might be cool. I like the fountain. It does a decent amount. I thought it did comfort. None of it? No comfort, huh? That sucks. What about gargoyles? Do you guys do any comfort? No comfort. What about you? No comfort. Well, that sucks. Uh, well, you know, I like this, the fountain, so we'll do a few of those. We'll go ahead and drag some stone down there. Water. Well, that sucks. It uses water. <laughs> I don't have a lot of that, and I want to save it for my coal, or not my coal, but my uh, my clay. So we're just going to do a few. There we go. We're out of stone anyways. Let's put that down here. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff being made. We need to go out and get more water, and we need to go off and get more iron. So I think that's what we're going to do on the next episode, is we're going to go out and get more of those resources that we really, really need. We can get some of this wood while we're at it. And we can get this guy to make some of that. I think we made more planks as well. So let me go ahead and make a few more buckets. They still haven't made those planks, huh? Well, they're making some. I, I think I made them make 12. So there's probably three sitting there on the ground. And they just haven't delivered them yet. Uh, so we can hold off on that. Eventually, they're going to get there. And we lost another one of these things. Now, somebody was telling me that uh, these things only fire in a... Uh, a direction like right here like a 30 degree or 60 degree direction in front and behind so they don't fire straight down they don't fire straight up so it doesn't really serve a purpose to use these uh, these bridges rather than a solid piece that's a little stronger I like the bridges because it gives me an idea of whether the Tesla towers would survive up here because the Tesla tower can fire directly down or at least pretty close to it I think they can fire directly down though 
and they can fire through the platform. So you're going to want this when you finally build those. And this is just like the test run because I do not want to lose my Tesla towers. That's, that's a horrible, horrible thing to do. And the fact that I'm losing these things show me that they need more protection up here on the top and things of that sort. Um, and none of the enemies have fired from below as far as I can tell. So that is definitely uh, something we need to... Uh, we need to remedy that. We need to put some protection around these guys, and they should be good to go. I also need to make a whole bunch more traps. Let's see, can we do some of those? I hate making traps because we needed to save the wood, but we do have a wave coming here in about 20 minutes, and unless we put traps down, uh, we're just we're just gonna get wiped. Like that's that's the one way we can survive these waves without completely and totally losing every single one of my dwarves and it allows me it does a little bit of time to mess around and do other things so it's not a complete waste it's not like the entire wave is going towards making traps it's just a good portion of it uh, is is used to get the wood and all that other stuff that you have to do so yeah it's 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 a little bit of a hassle and at some point we might be able to get away from it with the Tesla towers, but we're still a ways off. And it's the same everything, it's the same thing every time. You know, you kind of have to get to those points that you really, really want to, so you can start doing some of the stuff, uh, you know, and, and not have to worry too much about things uh, when you get to those points. You know, so we'll put some here, and I think we're gonna put one here. I'll be moving the lights around anyway, so the lights won't be in the same location they are right now. So that's not gonna be a thing. Uh, who's getting attacked? Uh, wait, that's not what I wanted to click on. Thought there was an attack button up there. Uh, what was it? Was it one of the enemies up here? I think it might have been. And we got somebody sleeping. Okay, so you automatically went to bed because you were pretty low. So whoever was attacking might have been that guy. He might have just went over there and and chilled and and laid down. What else do we have? We have some couches. I almost want to put the couch right here. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do that. I don't know if they can climb through it, but. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if they can still go through the couch. That's that's kind of weird, but uh, we'll try it. What about this stuff over here? No, nope, nothing else is done. Low on health. Why are you even... Oh, you know what? He's trying to get this stuff. And I never did come over here to get it. Okay, well, let me put a portal down and see if, uh, if they can pick this stuff up. I would love right now to have my minions so they can just gather all this stuff really easily. Is anybody going to come? You know what's going to happen is nobody's going to come right now. They're going to wait until the moment that I leave this area and they're all going to show up and all my guys are going to die. Let's see, you're drowning. They can't swim very long without drowning. They really, really need that helmet. Otherwise, uh, they, oh, look at this guy. He is so dead. He has no hit points. Look, there's a little bitty little thing of, of health right there. That is just ridiculous. Um... But I guess they're not going to come through, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy these videos, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, I want to apologize for missing an episode there. Uh, you know, I had to go over to my brothers to help him out with something uh, in real life, and uh, I wasn't expecting the call, so I didn't have my videos uploaded. I didn't have... Uh, well, actually, I did have a few videos uploaded. I just didn't have them named. And so some of you guys may have seen, you know, a few of my videos uploaded with, like, just the default names that I have to go back and, like, rearrange and stuff. And, and wondering yeah. well, what's going on there. That's, you know, they were scheduled and I wasn't home and I wasn't able to keep up with it. I do apologize for that. Hopefully, like I said, with the new computer, I'll be able to record a lot more, a lot faster. Be able to have a little bit of leeway there so when things pop up that I'm not expecting, uh, you guys don't miss out on your, your daily episodes because I greatly enjoy playing these games and that's going to allow me to play a lot more of them. Uh, so if you're already looking at the channel and be like, holy crap, it comes up with seven dailies, uh, it's a little bit much. Yeah, it's probably going to go to like 13 or 14 a day. Uh, if I can manage it, we'll have to see how well it comes out, but that's kind of what I'm pushing for. I have a lot of games that I want to get to and when I start a game, it takes a while for me to get through them. Like, I've been playing this one for about three, four months now, doing 30-minute daily episodes. So, uh, yeah, it, it takes a little while to get through them. And if I just stick with one game, I'll only play, like, one game a year or two games a year. So I like to have a whole bunch in there that I can play around with. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.